Welcome back. You are tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Express All Right, John S3. We're talking about food. Yes, yes. we all love food. Uh, it's a basic necessity, we know this, but also a major expense nowadays. A significant contributor to our health and, most importantly, one of our biggest joys in life. So, in today's uh, Our Money Matters chat, I want to know which of these factors uh, we consider first when putting our weekly menu together with Graham. Mm. My friend, this is a tough one because, I mean, uh, I'm not even going to go into my the way I eat, okay? I just said to you that <laughs> it's okay. I... It's a safe place. I you. feel like I failed this weekend because I didn't pry yesterday oh. because of the cost of it. You know, oh, um, sure. you think you know what I'm saying, and 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 that that sounds. It, I can't believe I'm. Oh, woe saying is it. me! Yeah, but but, it's, but it's let's, true. there's a couple of questions that I let maybe we can answer or you can answer. Do you shop according to your cost, health, or deliciousness? How okay. do you generally look? Well, at your I mean, right time? now, obviously, it's a slightly different journey because my family's away. I'm intermittent fasting. It's a very different approach now, but it has very much highlighted how I spend my money on food. I do a little bit of everything. Yeah. I've realized that for me to stay motivated in how I'm kind of building my health kind of scheme, it probably is a little bit of everything. Cost probably the most important because cost of living is incredibly high at mm. the moment, just on every level. But when it plays out in food, we've seen price increases of like three, four times the price, never yeah. mind percentage added on. Um, but you need a bit of deliciousness in there to motivate, man. You, and you, you baby, gotta, yeah, dude, I, I also do strike a balance because at the end of the day, I, I do like to you know, we all do like to eat. We, ha we like With to have bigger, yeah. treats and that. And I, I kind of balance it. Like yesterday, I know that I had quite a rather expensive uh, Saturday. I took the boys out to some virtual reality experience and oh, those cool. kind of things. So I do trade off and see why. It's all about, you know, I think money management, yeah. I suppose. Balancing the books. And, and yeah. it does come with food as well. Didn't mean I didn't eat anything. We, we, you know, there were specials that I looked at and that's what I did yesterday. There were some great chicken specials at Woolies, which there is fantastic. Go. Sometimes you know? some two-minute noodles, five-minute noodles or whatever will do yeah. fine, okay? We also got to then think about what if you throw into, um, you know, some, some convenience, you know, because you're on the go, you, you, you're busy, you're having a hectic day, you're not, you don't have the time to prep. How does it look then? Cost, health, deliciousness, I mean... Nine out of ten times? Deliciousness. Nine out of ten. Every once in a while I'll order something because it feels like the healthier option. But it's a healthier option versus three very unhealthy other options, generally. So <laughs> yeah. I would say when it comes to ordering in, I'm treating myself because we, we don't do it often. So yeah. it'll be once a week and then I'll do it based on our flavour and what the enjoyment yeah. we get out of it. Look, for me, whenever I'm on the road, I am obviously looking for that convenience factor when you want to eat. But ooh, be me being me, I always try to do the little bit of healthy option. Is there enough protein in there? Is yeah. there enough? You know, read the label. Let's see what there is. <laughs> Maybe a nice little wrap or a chicken wrap or something like this. Um, so, so it does lean towards health for me because I know if I am traveling, if I have a full days of work still ahead of me, I'll make sure, I want to still make you sure that good I couldn't prep my own meal. So I want to try at least and, you know, have the healthy <laughs> side. We have one more question. We try, um, we try. Yeah, is your breakfast, lunch and dinner, is it influenced differently? Um, by these three factors. Yeah, I think in general, I've kind of changed my whole mindset around when yeah. and how you eat in that sense. Yeah, so I mean, if but you health, take a look definitely, at it. breakfast would yeah. always be health because you want to set the foundation. Um, lunch, probably convenience more than anything else, but cost generally because you don't want to break the bank with like a gap filler type thing. Yeah. And then dinner will be definitely health. I think that's where my nutrients load comes in. So that will probably have the, the biggest. But I, I try to cook delicious, healthy food. Yeah. That's like the aim, generally. So I don't feel like I've got to sacrifice one What are you saying? One egg white can be delicious. It can plain be. plain egg white, just if like that. If you've eaten enough of them, no, it can't. <laughs> it can never be delicious. <laughs> no, but I mean, maybe this is something for A bit of chili flake about. in there. Yeah. yeah, at home, maybe you guys can think about it. If you think about, you know, really focusing on the health aspect when it comes to your breakfast, do you kind of, you know, flip it to the other side when it comes to dinner? Yeah. You know, where you go like, okay, well, I had a healthy breakfast. Now I'm going to go with the delicious side. Uh, well, I've only got two dinner. minutes for lunch. Do I need a squeeze in? Oh, it's fine. I can just quickly have a gap filler there and do that. Yeah. So, so it's a lot to think about, eh? Uh, but I do think that between you and I, we do 
tend to, it seems like we strike a balance. Yeah, yeah trying to. Trying to at least, <laughs> and, and trying to eat healthy as well. Uh, make it still delicious. You can, and still keep it within the budget. Uh, it is a story of our lives. It really is. It all is it's all that balance. So to help ease the financial burden of our grocery shopping, the Nedbank's My Goals account will give you cash back on all your groceries, no matter where you shop or what you buy. I think this is a fantastic deal, and to view all of the benefits that this uh, account offers you can visit netbank.co.za happy balancing out there <laughs> check this this my goals plus account gives you cash back on groceries and 25 cents back per liter at bp that's lit lit <laughs> in 2023 <laughs> 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 <laughs>